day number two with my seven days with Windows 7 and I'm going to show you a few more new things that are occurring here in Windows 7. We're going to start with the start menu again tonight, no pun intended. And one thing I'm going to point out is that your recently used programs like Vista show up here and also like XP but with a new twist. If you click on a program and it turns out that apparently it only works with supported programs, primarily Microsoft at this point because I've tried opening a couple documents with OpenOffice which I've installed on here but it doesn't work with that yet. But as you can see with my paint program, I had two recently opened documents here. So when you click on a program or just highlight a program, the right hand side of the start menu shows you the recently used documents for that program. So if I go here to WordPad because it didn't work with OpenOffice, you can see I have five or six documents that I've worked with here recently all showing up on the right hand side. So that's a new feature in Windows 7. Speaking of WordPad, they did update WordPad a little bit and they tabulized it like they did Office 2007. And I defy any beginner that's out there to try to tell me how to open a document using WordPad. And I'm going to let you sit here and look at this menagerie of tabness and see if you can find it. And um, time is up. I'll bet you didn't find it. It's right up here in the left hand side this itty bitty button here. If you click this, that's where the open and new and save and print and some of the other tools that you're used to finding very quickly in all other versions of WordPad and normal programs, you would find it right away. But it's this tiny little button right up here. The other thing they have done that is a little bit better is they've added some extra saving options including amazingly the open document text format which is a standard that OpenOffice is trying to introduce and Microsoft actually adopted it amazingly in WordPad. So I'll also show you Paint. Paint is also just like in WordPad. They've modified it, they've moved the toolbar to the top and they've tabulized it as well and instead of having your nice pull down menus again you have to look for this teeny tiny icon in the upper left of these kinds of programs from now on to find the options you normally would find in a pull down menu. So it's that little bitty button up there on the left. They have added some other shape outlines to help create more complicated documents. The color, the color picker is a little more robust and they've even added a few different brushes as well. Other than that, paint is not much of an upgrade. So those are two things that people very rarely use, paint and WordPad, but they are upgraded in Windows 7. The calculator is updated in Windows 7 as well you get your normal calculator here but you also have a conversion program integrated into the new calculator for what that's worth you can enter in any kind of a temperature and get what the conversion is or any one of these measurements so that's the calculator upgrade in Windows 7 and lastly in today's installment I'm going to show you some updates on the control panel in Windows 7 and if you were frustrated with the changes from XP and 95 and 98 into Vista you're not going to have any more love in Windows 7 except that you can use the search the control panel here in the upper right hand corner. So if I want to change for example the size of my fonts on my desktop if I just start typing in font I just only had to type in three characters and quickly it brought me to three possible options. So that is an improvement. If I want to uninstall a program or remove if I type in remove I automatically get to some options related to what I just typed in. So that helps navigate the control panel quite a bit easier than I think Vista did because they moved everything around from XP. It makes it a little easier over here on the right in the control panel. So those are a few of the new features in Windows 7. We're going to explore file management and what are called libraries and a few other things later on this week.